who are waking up to temperatures below freezing this morning, and you probably will need a jacket later today. But a much welcomed warm up is here for the weekend, and we couldn't be happier about it. George? Libby, the warm up starts today, or actually started yesterday. We saw temps in the 40s, and today we'll keep it going. Now, for the morning, as you mentioned, Libby, take a coat with you, especially if your children are walking to school. It is a cold start to the day, and the wind is going to make it feel colder. Upper 20s to lower 30s at 7, but this afternoon, mid 50s by 3, and we'll have sunshine all day, helping to further melt away the snow. Before today, breezy and those temps in the mid 50s. Jumping ahead to Sunday, one of the changes we've made to the weather forecast since yesterday, looking at the newest info, it is suggesting that we are going to see some showers moving into Oklahoma. Most of the rain is going to stay to our south in Texas, from Dallas, then down through, e then through East Texas and down through Central Texas. But a few showers will be possible locally. We'll keep you updated on the new info. Then Tuesday through Thursday, we'll see temps nearing 70 degrees. Across Oklahoma, clear skies, and it's going to be just a beautiful day. We've had the cool high pressure, which has been influencing our weather, and as this high moves off to the east, that is allowing the wind to return from the south and southwest, and a south and southwest wind is a warmer wind for Oklahoma, so that should help to warm up temps nicely. As far as the rest of the country, just look at how quiet it is. The snowstorm along the east coast is gone. No big storm systems immediately to our west and north. However, the Rain that we'll be watching for Sunday is going to be with a disturbance that's going to form on the back edge of this cold front, work its way into Texas, and try and spread some rain into Oklahoma. So that's what we're tracking for you for the weekend. Right now it's a cold 21 in Bartlesville, 29 toward Pryor, Ogmulgee at 28, and it's 25 in McAllister. It's 30 here in town, no driving issues on I-44, and almost all of the ice and snow is gone from the roads as we had the sunshine and warmer temps yesterday. Now on the future track, it shows quiet weather across the state today as we'll have plenty of sunshine and those highs in the mid 50s. Tomorrow, your Saturday will be even warmer and nicer, so you may want to go for a bicycle ride, may just want to play in your yard and just enjoy the nice temps. But as we go throughout the afternoon and into Saturday night, we'll see increasing clouds from the south. That's out ahead of the chance for showers. We'll see for Sunday. For today, for your Friday, sunny and cool, breezy, the wind will make it feel cooler to you. We'll see a high of 55. Then coming up tonight, clear skies and we'll near freezing again, 32 by morning. Your seven day forecast, 63 tomorrow. Then on Sunday, here are the changes that we made to the forecast since yesterday. Increasing clouds with a chance for showers, heaviest rain south and east of Tulsa, less to no rain west and north. And then the warm up keeps on going into next week. Libby, mid 60s to lower 70s by Wednesday.